This ecosystem is located off a tropical volcano, underwater, on the continental shelf. Due to the volcano, the water is rich in carbon dioxide and nutrients. Because the water is shallow and located in the tropics, the water is always warm. Now with the organisms, we decided to mix it up a bit. These right here are producers, plants. They are at the bottom of the food web. They absorb the carbon dioxide rich water and through sunlight use it for energy. They get their other nutrients by eating soil from the bottom of the ecosystem. Some of the smaller ones simply absorb it from the water. They reproduce asexually by dropping seeds, occasionally hundreds at a time. Here we have a primary consumer, the next level up in the food web. This is an animal that feeds on the producers, but it has roots as well. The roots keep it steadily supplied with nutrients, but it gets energy from eating producers, either when feeding or before they hatch from their seeds. These tentacles are capable of paralyzing prey, although some have built up immunities. The tentacles also serve to reproduce by inserting into the ground, sprouting up as a new consumer, and then falling off. The secondary consumers eat the primary ones, not all at a time, but gradually. These parasitic vine-like growths wrap around the primary consumer, eating it and whatever prey it catches. Eventually, the primary consumer dies, but the secondary one drops an egg cluster in the corpse. When the eggs take root, they will have the corpse, and each other, to provide food until they are grown. The decomposers of this system are rarely seen. They tunnel through the soil, eating the dead producers and consumers which have sunk to the bottom. They reproduce by literally growing a child, and then detaching once it is grown. All this is very good until... A massive oil spill occurs. Now the producers have no sunlight. They swim away from the volcano to other sunny regions. But here there is less carbon dioxide and less nutrients dissolved in the water, so it is harder to survive. The producers are threatened. Meanwhile, the primary consumers still absorb nutrients through their roots, but they have no source of energy. Only the ones who can survive on seeds alone until the oil pools will survive. They are in danger. The secondary consumers will increase at first because the prey is dying and they have more egg-laying sites, but soon the lack of prey will cause them too to become in danger. The only species that benefits are the decomposers because they will feed off the dead consumers, first primary then secondary. By the time this resource runs out, the oil will have cleared and the plants will be back.